Hey, what's up folks? Life with Brock here. Gonna do a uh, little painting of this uh, first appearance Iron Man that I've been working on. I'm gonna wait until a few of you uh, hop in here. We'll have a little bit of a chat. It's gonna be a short evening for me tonight. But I figured I, uh, I wanted to get something out this weekend and hang out with you guys that have been joining me on these live streams. Maybe field some questions from uh, that last video I put out, that tutorial, The Spot, that is, uh, so far has been um, somewhat popular and getting a lot of love on the interwebs. What's up, dude? TGW? Just setting my stuff up here real quick. Getting my uh, iPad ready to go. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. Uh, I, I've been working on this uh, first appearance Iron Man. Those of you that have been following me on Instagram, I've put out a couple. I, I put out the priming shots and then the, uh, the paint, and we'll talk about that in a second. I'm just trying to bring up the original here. First appearance Iron Man Toy Biz. Let me see what pops up. What's up, Eli and Parker? Gokson, haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining up. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Oh, you are? Cool. What are you painting, Jacob? Trying to get a good shot of this Iron Man. That's a good, good shot right there. So I can show it. Wait until there's 10 of you. It is Saturday night, so the at least here in the, in the Pacific Coast. You should make sure I get the lighting right. Let me see my hand right here. I'll be able to see it. Your vanilla ice? Eli Vader says he's doing his vanilla ice. All right, let me get the comments up. Parker, have you joined the live streams before? Or is this your first one that you're catching? Jacob says he's doing a 12-inch Marvel Legends Red Deadpool. So this is your first one, Parker? Well, welcome. We're just waiting for, it looks like for one more to join. And uh, we'll get going. And actually, I can start talking about what I'm going to be doing here and just some of the paints that I have out. Because I do get a lot of questions about painting and what type of paints I use. So uh, I can just start with, with this right now. I, use, I, I really like the Vallejo paints. It's really become my, I guess, my go-to brand. And there's a couple different types of Vallejo paints that I use. Let me see if I have Oh my gosh, I almost knocked over my display here. Let me see if I have one right here. I can just pull out real quick so I can show you the difference. Okay, so Vallejo has two different types of paints that at least that, that I've come across that I've enjoyed using. So this, this is their regular brand, the model color, and then you have the model air. This one is intended to go straight into the airbrush and I haven't painted in the with the airbrush in a long time, but I am planning on doing some airbrush painting soon. And uh, yeah, so this paint is pretty much thinned out, ready to go for airbrush. This one comes out a little bit thicker, and that paint is intended uh, to you can you know typically just dry brush. Not that you can't dry brush with this, because those of you that have been following me for a while know that um, I can just use this straight from the brush too. It's just, it's gonna go on multiple layers. It'll take a little bit more for coverage. So these are the two types of Vallejo paints that I use. Then, uh, actually one of the first brands that I ever used is the Siddell paint. Uh, these are the ones that I've used primarily. I don't have much experience with uh, the other, some of the other brands like the P3 brands, the Army Painter, 
um, things of that nature. These are typically the people that use this are on the on the um, uh, Warhammer, the smaller, real small scale. I forget uh, Warhammer. 30k or 60 I, I can't remember what it's called i know it's a game that they play but those guys do some amazing uh videos i actually have a lot i've learned a lot of my techniques when i paint from watching those guys on youtube because there aren't really many of this type of video um painting marvel legends there's a few of us that that put our stuff on on youtube but there's not many of us that do and there aren't really many of us at a high level, and I don't consider myself to be at a high level, especially when it comes to, to painting. I'm getting good at kit bashing, but uh, painting is uh, something I'm definitely still always learning. But these guys that use the Citadel paints, they are masters of shading, highlighting, glossing. There's so many different types of techniques that they use, washes, uh, that they're really good. So those are the primary uh, two paints that I use and then when I'm doing uh, when I'm priming a figure I use those paints from uh, AutoZone they're uh, it's called Duplicolor here let me bring one out so you guys can see there are these guys right here they're to be used on vinyl they have a flexible finish and they just seem to work really well for this type of plastic, for the Marvel Legends, pl uh, pra uh, excuse me, uh, plastic. And this is typically what I use for priming, priming the figure. And I use a blend of uh, black, gray, and white. And that's called Senethal Priming. Uh, I primarily learned that from uh, Action Figure Toronto. He's got an extensive list of things he writes all his stuff he typically doesn't do videos but go check out his website action figure toronto that's why i picked up that priming method from. and uh, this guy after i primed him uh, because he was a, a silver color and i'll and i'll show you a picture uh it was a, a duller color the original the original is a nice figure but uh, i needed to work on this one uh Unboxing Art had sent me this picture, or excuse me, this this uh, figure, and it was broken. So I recently attached the arms, and I have a video on how to do that. I think I may have used a, I did the video with Mecha Hulk, and I wasn't able to get to him because the video was going uh, kind of bad. Uh, but I used the same technique that I used on Mecha Hulk to attach that one arm from Mecha Hulk. I used the same technique here on Tony, on this first appearance, uh, Iron Man. Then after it was primed, I, uh, I used uh, Spastix uh, Black Backer, and then I went over it with Mirrored Chrome, and then I ran out of Mirrored Chrome, but I'll get to that in just a bit. Let me turn over to the comments. I know that the, uh, the chat's been going. There's 27 of you up in here. Let me just uh, see if I can pick up where I left off. What's up, Gabriel? Uh, Parker says he's fairly new to customizing and that my videos have been helping out him out a lot. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Parker. Make sure if you have an Instagram, Parker, and uh, you do a custom and you finish a custom or you you have a work in progress, link me to it. Uh, tag me. I think that's the, the vernacular you young people use. Tag me on that photograph. I'm at, uh, at Life with Brock. Same as my YouTube. Uh, just hit me up on Instagram. I'd like to see what you guys are working. Any of you guys that are doing uh, customs, uh, that's that's part of my pastime and my hobby. I like seeing other people's work as well. What's up, Silver for Golf? Raymond, welcome. Thanks for uh, joining in. Hey, are you guys still there? <clears throat> Sorry, I lost. I think I lost my feed. Can you guys give me a thumbs up or something? Let me know that I'm still transmitting because I, I lost my feed there momentarily. I'll just wait so I don't waste anybody's time here. Okay, good. You guys are still there. We had, I think we had too many people using the Wi-Fi. And since I pay for the Wi-Fi, I get first dibs. All right, let me, get, get, let me go back up and make sure I'm getting everybody in the chat and then we'll get going with the painting here. 
Eli was saying that he needs to go to eBay or Amazon for Vallejo paints. Yeah, Citadel is typically what's mostly available. You have to find a hobby shop, not just a comic book shop, but a, a dedicated hobby shop, then they'll have all sorts of paints. What's up, Rashawn? Silver for Golf has been using Vallejos. Yeah, they are nice paints. They, they tend not to chip. Uh, they blend well together. Uh, they have good stain power. I don't, uh, that's just been my experience. I'm sure they're, uh, I'd be willing to try some other types of paints, but I just don't do enough customizing uh, to get through what I already have. Peachy. Peachy says, Brock, you should make a melter. I have no idea what that is. Let me see, Peachy. Melter's an Iron Man villain. Oh, He's an Iron Man villain. Okay, well, I, I know I'm way up on the, the chat. Sorry, guys. I'm almost catching up. I'm almost there. Eli's familiar with that Senethal priming. Yeah, that's the way to go because it shows you all, uh, not in a figure like this, but one that has musculature where you're going to have some shading and highlights. Uh, that type of priming will really help you see where you should dedicate uh, your paint to. Yeah, Eli tagged me. And uh, someone had asked me if they can put their Instagram on there. Absolutely, go ahead, throw it down. I'm good with sharing. What's up, Cody? Yeah, Parker, go for it. Put your Instagram on here. It's all good. What's up, Jetson? Jose, que pasó? I did. I saw it, TDG. I saw your crow figure. That's, that's looking pretty sweet. What's up, Anthony? Uh, probably GameWorks got Vallejo. Mm. Ra Rafael, bienvenido. I, saw, I, I, I like the fact that I'm getting some people from Mexico on here, and we've had some Brazilians jump on in here. Uh, T let me see what he says. No, I think they only have Citadel. What's up, Spider Kid? A.S. Reyes, welcome, bro. Glad to have you hop in here. I'm just working on this... Uh, First appearance. I'm going to stop on the comments right there and let me get to it. So let me let me just see if I can showcase this guy. And I'm not sure if the lights are going to catch exactly. Uh, hopefully it'll catch the difference in paint. Let me show you what this guy. Let me bring in my, my iPad here, and I'm going to turn it just a little bit so you guys can see. So that's what the original figure looked like. But obviously, this was a used figure. The paint was uh, was not great. But this is what he looks like now. It's definitely going to be a more metallic sheen. I really like the... the this is the same paint I used on the Silver Surfer. And you, you, I think you can see the difference in... I think the appropriate verbiage is tone of that uh, silver. Definitely more chromey, right? So now that you guys are getting a good look at uh, the first appearance Iron Man, uh, I'm going to be painting that yellow. Let me set this back and let me see what you guys, let me get you guys back on the comments. Okay. So anyways, uh, I, I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint the uh, the yellow of his, um, what the heck is that called again? I know what it's called, but uh, I'm, I'm having a, a senior moment right now. But anyways, after I put the black backer, I used this, this uh, Spastix Mirror Chrome. And then after I put on the Mirror Chrome, after I, I let, it, let it sit for a while, then I sealed it with a Spastic sealer, and it seems to have worked well on the Silver Surfer. So I'm, I'm going with it here. I'm just showing you the figure. Now, I did run out of this Mirror Chrome, so I wasn't able to hit up the joints uh, once I've ordered some more. So once I get that, I'll, I'll touch that up. Uh, there's some spots here that are left. But there's just something about leaving a little bit of the black showing through that I, I, I feel like it gives it a little bit of, of depth. I wouldn't even know what to call it in the paint world. I'm sure there may be a term for it. I just don't know it, right? And I may go back here, not tonight, but I'm, I may uh, touch these up and give it a little bit of a different shade or maybe even put, put a little bit of tiny bit, tiny bit of bronze or gold in here. I haven't decided yet. I have to think through that, like all these little uh, details to bring them out. And since I'm already repainting the figure, like all these, all these uh, grommets 
on the inside of the leg. I may do something like that just to make the figure look a little bit different. I think I said hi to Anthony already. Yeah, I did. Uh, let me run down through. Man, Peachy wants me to make a melter. I'm gonna have to look him up. I'm gonna look him up, Peachy. Peachy, if you have an Instagram, tag me on a picture of melter. Help me out. I know, unfortunately, we can't do it here or else I'd, I'd just tell you to do it here. Are right, you guys dropping your Instagrams? Okay, cool, cool. What's up? What's up? Arc Reactor, thank you. Gosh, the mind is a wonderful thing, isn't it? What's up, Special K? What are you talking about? A wash right here, a silver for golf. That's another thing that I, I could consider doing here. Um, I do have a wash that I like a lot. It's a Citadel wash. Let me bring that out. I, I used it recently. It's not Reclin Flesh. I need to figure out something to do with um, my paints because they're so hard to find. I have it in, like, in a tackle box. So I, I like using this wash a lot. It's got a little bit of a brownish, reddish tint to it. And uh, yeah, that may, that may actually look good here. But um, I don't want to do it until I get that other, uh, until I get more of this uh, chrome paint so I can fix it. But you may have just convinced me to use a wash today. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> Thanks, Peachy. Yeah. Special K, I think I already said everybody. Special K is at Walmart on the hunt right now, player. What are you looking for? All right, let me, let me get into this. So one of the ways that you can make... Uh, now, if you, if you saw my painting of that Wolverine bike that I did for Eric Eisner, and as I'm looking here, it needs a little bit of more of this uh, uh, chrome paint up here on the chest. But one of the ways that you can make something look metallic or or look, uh, or just have like a, like a glass, almost like a glass sheen, and I'm gonna do it right here, you're gonna see, is to paint chrome and then to use a transparent paint, and I'm gonna be using uh, this model color right here, Vallejo, uh, transparent yellow. And it'll make it look glassy, which is what I'm gonna go for in this arc reactor. Yeah, and just, uh, yeah, I could make it look like oil. I don't know if I want to dirty this figure up too much. I don't know yet. Uh, it, it depends on on how it looks because I, I'm i not really much, you know, I have a basic idea of what, what I want to do. But since I'm just like a lot of you guys, I'm not, a, I'm not a trained artist. I'm just somebody who enjoys superheroes and have gotten into this part of the hobby. Um, it. it it's made me enjoy the hobby a little bit more. I'm shaking this up because I haven't used this paint in a long time. And um, so I'm not a trained artist. I don't know how to mix colors. I wish I would have paid attention in school. So if you guys are still in school and you have to take art or sculpting, or so, that's what I would recommend that you do. If you're into things of this nature, you need to. I, I wish, uh, actually I would never want to go back to school by the way, I'm done. I'm, I'm very educated. I don't need to get any more educated. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if I had to do it over again, I would definitely take more art classes. I tell my, that to my wife all the time. It means it's the truth. So those of you that are still in school, by all means, do that. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on there. And I'm going to lightly brush it on here and see what type of effect it gives. It's been a while, so I haven't... I don't know exactly what this yellow is gonna look, so this is gonna maybe be surprising. So let me find a, a good brush for it. Try. I think I'll use this brush right here. Lip defining brush. This is one of my uh, my daughter's brushes that she doesn't use anymore. She gave it to me. Let's see what it does.
So I'm definitely going to uh, probably give it a couple coats. And then once it's sealed, or once, excuse me, I should say, once it's dried and I'm happy with the result or with the color, I am going to seal it with a future floor polish, which is essentially a clear acrylic, a glossy clear acrylic. And I'm looking at that paint right there. Let me see. It's kind of... It was clumping up in some of these areas. And then I'm gonna let it dry. The Iron Man and RD, uh, the Iron Man, who's RDJ? I'm, I'm forgetting who that is. RDJ is on clearance for 22 bucks. Yeah, Peachy, if you're going into, uh, it looks like you're going to become a freshman in high school. Is it freshman in high school or college? Either way, you'll have to take some sort of art. Take sculpting. Learn about colors. Parker wants to make a battle-damaged MCU Captain America. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the paint here. I still want to let that dry more before I start painting over it. Battle damage. Hmm. Well... So battle damage on here, depending on how you envision this suit to have been, and let's say this is a paint, a chrome over it, then you'll want to have like a dull metal underneath, something a little bit darker. They make Citadel paints that have a base layer. So what you could do is you could paint, you could, you could paint, well, in, in this case, you would paint something duller on the bottom and then you'd, you'd dry brush over the top, or you can you can paint it this color and then uh, paint paint uh, spots on the figure. I'm trying to think if I battle damaged anything. I don't think I've battle damaged anything. Uh, what I, my recommendation would be to look up some of these miniature painters and see how they battle damage. Obviously, you're going to want some blood on there if you want cap. Uh, and Citadel does make a good blood paint. It's it works pretty darn good. I'm going to give it a, a second round here. Now, once I have pretty good coverage, then I'm actually I'm going to put I'm going to actually put a quite a bit of this paint here and you'll see I'll start glossing over and I'll start looking like hopefully anyway, it'll start looking like glass, but it's not ready it's not ready yet. One of the things that I've I've learned when I'm painting uh, the figures, and it happens to me every, with every single figure, I initially I start patient, and as the process goes on, I get a little bit more impatient, and then I try to apply the the paint when it when it's still wet, and you don't want to do that. Because it actually, it'll, it doesn't mix well. The paint needs to be fully dry before you apply the next coat. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. Thanks, A.S. Reyes. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that, players. I knew that. <clears throat> oh, TGW found the thing. Well, that's a good find. Good deal. Uh, I was able to, I picked up two in the online when Walgreens had them online. By the way, I think that one of those, uh, I mean, I, I did it to, to my thing. Go check it out. I added a coat and a hat from Harker Customs. He's on Instagram. It's a really cool accessory. And then 
I made my own cigar accessory and I have a tutorial on how to do that. Go check that out, guys. I think that thing figure looks even better than it than it looks just by it by itself with the Harker Customs coat. I think it's the best coat that's out there out of the people that are making the coats online. And I've had a couple. His looks the best. And that's just my opinion, obviously. Peachy is confirming he is in high school. Well, I've been pretty lucky. Okay, but... There you go, a little bit of white and purple. That would uh, give the bruisings. Special uh, K, any head that scales, you can get it to fit on a neck peg. Uh, you can, I have videos, go, you know what, that's, that's essentially what my channel's turned into. I don't do the toy hunts anymore as much as I enjoy doing those with uh, my family. But it's essentially turned into these uh, custom videos. Just about anything beginning wise that you could you can need and now now I'm gonna put a little bit more paint and this is not typically what I do, but I wanna I want more coverage on this and I want it to almost be like a reflective Let me stop talking real quick. Well I don't wanna screw this part up. I want it to look like it's got a glass covering on it. So it's really wet. And I'm just gonna let it sit, I'm gonna lay it down like this. Cause I don't want it to run off. What will he hold? It's gonna pull down here. All right, I'm just gonna lay him down like this. See if, the, if my arm fix holds. All right, it's holding, guys. It's holding. I lost track what I was saying. So I'm gonna let that dry, and you'll see now, it, now I can already tell, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is starting to turn glassy, which is the effect I wanted to go for. Oh, A.S. Reyes is asking when I'm going to be bringing back those collector spotlights. You know, I kind of lost steam for those. And there's definitely uh, quite a few people that I, I wanted to interview. But uh, I want to make sure that I'm doing it just, you know, actually when I, when I really want to do it. I don't, I don't want to just do uh, those things. I don't want to do any of this type of stuff if I'm not motivated to do it. Because this is a hobby, hang out uh, for me. This is... I don't want it to become a chore. So I don't know. I, I, want, I, I, I feel like I will do that in the future, but I can't say for sure. AS, you want to be interviewed? There you go. Check out uh, TGW's at launchpad underscore photography. And, he, and you can check out his uh, battle damage cap. That's good. Hit him up. No, Harker. Harker as in uh, with an H. H as in Henry. Harker Customs on Instagram. And I've mentioned him before. If you look at my video, I may have put a link, a direct link to his Instagram on the video when I reviewed the, uh, the coat. It was a few weeks ago. Special case says he got a hat and glasses. I didn't know the thing had glasses. Huh. Yeah, Anthony, the, the, the coat does look, man, I'm telling you, that is a good look for thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> Any head that scales, meaning that the size of the head goes with the body, you can get it to fit. Uh, you would need a Dremel. Now you don't have to, if you're just gonna be doing head adjustments, you can buy yourself, if you have a Harbor Freight around you, you can buy a small power tool, like a small rotary tool, I should call it. Then um, uh, it costs like 10, 11 bucks. And it'll have, you can, you can drill the, the hole wider and then you'll also need a hot glue gun. And I have a couple videos that show you how to fit those heads. It's super easy. It's 
uh, customizing 101, very basic level stuff that as a customizer, if you're, especially if you're, if you're learning, you, this is a tool that you need, a couple of tools that you need in your tool belt for sure. Hey, S. Reyes, I think you'd make a good interview as long as you wouldn't clam up on me. Yeah, I've seen some of your stuff. Uh, a couple of the stuff that you did on MOC with um, with Mr. Wynn. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, Eric Harker, uh, he does uh, a lot of the, the custom cape stuff. Matter of fact, he's he's working on a Doc Ox mock right now. You know, the... Uh, the, uh, the white overcoat, I'll be getting that from him. And as soon as uh, he completes it, uh, I'll be buying him. And, uh, and then I'll, as soon as I get it, I'll do a review. But it looks good. He sent me a couple photographs. And then by that time, then I'll, then I'll customize the, uh, the Dr. O Doc Ock. Hey, what's up, Mike Case? Congratul hey, I'm not sure if I'm getting your, your is it Cass or Case? Cass or Case? You're gonna to have to get, forgive me. Uh, uh, my English is not my my first language, like I like to say. But my case, Cass, he just got married, and marriage is good, player. Marriage is good, or can be good. Congratulations to you and your wife. May you have many, many, many happy years to come. Clam up, A.S. Reyes, it's an expression. Obviously, English isn't your first language either. <laughs> Clam up means to, you know, get embarrassed and, and be shy on camera. So I, I said it right, my case. Oh, oh, good. I had it right the first time. By the way, if you guys don't know who Mike is, he's got a, a YouTube channel. He does all sorts of fun stuff. I discovered him uh, because I collect Transformers just like he does. He also does Star Wars uh, and Marvel. He does everything. He does a lot of stuff that I don't do. You should go check out his channel. Uh, but uh, he does, he's got a buddy on there, and they do something called Bots and Shots. <laughs> and the whole premise of that is that they're, they're talking about a bunch of different Transformers, and it could be a, a, all sorts of... I think they have, um, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while since I've seen one of those episodes, but uh, they'll have a theme, and every single time they finish their bots or a section, they have a shot, and, it, and the, it's comedy gold. <laughs> Kids, if you're watching this channel right now, because I am, I am a family-friendly dude, drink responsibly when you're 21, 21. Or you can just pretend what they're drinking is apple juice that makes them giggly. How's that looking? Is that looking glassy? All right. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm actually not liking how it's evening out there. Looks like I'm gonna have to add more paint. Gokson, if you're asking me if I've seen Dragon Ball C, I've seen a couple of episodes that's not really my thing. It just doesn't, doesn't, I know that's a super popular thing and, and some of you crazy guys think that uh, Goku can beat Superman and all that crazy stuff. Listen, it's just not my thing. <laughs> Leave it at that. I don't want you guys to get upset with me because I know some of you will take it personal.
It looks like uh, Special K says he bought that Multiverse Black Manta after he saw uh, my review. And it didn't have the floppy leg problem. You know, I, I did end up fixing that floppy leg. So... Thanks, Mike. So this is the first appearance, Iron Man. Do you uh, do you collect? How many of you guys in here collect the uh, the older Toy Biz figures? It's a really cool figure. It's very simple. It's straight out of the comic. Maybe painting the face in a second. I mean, check this out, guys. Let me let me put this back on. You can see it. It's no wonder these Toy Biz guys went out of business. They they produced really cool figures with awesome accessories. And um, okay, let me just show you something. I know I, I, I'm I'm kind of scatterbrained right here, but you see how this paint is drying? I don't, I don't like that. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different to see if I can get that to. You see how? I don't know if I can. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not drying like the head of a lamp, which is what I'm kind of wanting to do. Like I did with that uh, Wolverine bike with the tail lights. And it could be that I didn't let the paint dry before I put that whole paint and it's just not settling right. I'm thinking that I may add some um, future floor polish to it because that's essentially what I'm gonna seal it with. And you can mix your acrylic paints with this stuff and just makes the paint a little bit more resistant uh, to chipping. And it also uh, cuts it. it, uh, it it's a good agent to keep it, uh, the paint from drying out too quickly. So now before I move into the head, but look, at, look how cool that is, guys. Look at that figure. It's so simple, but awesome. It is literally my favorite Iron Man in my collection right now. Thank you, Art UL, Unboxing Art sent me this broken figure and I fixed it. So let me see, uh, I asked Mike and, and the rest of you guys who's collecting these Toy Biz figures. <laughs> it's race, man, you killed me, bro. So Parker says, hold on, let me move up a little bit. Let me move up a little bit. I think I missed it. I, and I'm sorry if I missed your comments. I'm, I'm not trying to do that on purpose. It's kind of difficult. If you've ever gone live and tried to read and there's a lot of you in the chat right now, for me anyways, 28, and I've had as many as 40 something in here. And when the chat's rolling, it's hard to keep up. All right, let me see it, there you go. Okay, uh, TGW says he loves the uh, Toy Biz Ultimate Cap. That is a very cool figure. Mike says he's got um, Nightcrawler, Angel, and the brown suit Wolverine. Yeah, those are those are top, some of the top Toy Biz figures. I, I have that brown suit Wolverine. I have the Nightcrawler. I don't have Angel. I thought about customizing an Angel, but I I don't have that. I, I mean, I, the Beast figure is, is something that everybody needs to have in their collection. I know the new Beast that's coming out looks pretty darn good. Uh, I'm still going to do a mod on that, but let me not talk about that. I get too off track here. Uh, Parker says, I really want to make a PS4 Doc Ock. How would I go about that? Unfortunately, I can't give you advice because I have not seen Doc Ock in the PS4. I don't own the PS4. I, my video game experience stopped with a PS3. And matter of fact, I still got a couple games in shrink wrap. I have Uncharted 3 that I still haven't played and a Batman game that I still haven't played. They're just I have too much things going on in my hobby right now and I'm doing these customs, I'm doing the YouTube stuff and I'm reading comic books. For a custom Brock figure, use a Hyperion buck. You guys are funny. Uh, let me, let, me let, let you guys on to something. One of the reasons I started working on the customs was because I wanted to do a figure of myself. And this is gonna sound a little bit, um, what do you call it, uh, narcissistic. I did wanna do a figure of myself. And uh, 
And I contacted a customizer and it was gonna be an exorbitant amount of money. It was gonna be like two to $300. And I was like, for a $20 figure player? Like, you know, most people understand. Now I understand why he wanted me to charge me that much. But the reason I want, and, I've, and those of you that have been following me for a while know this, the reason that I wanted a, my own figure is because I'm actually an X-Men character I am literally me in an X-Men book, Uncanny X-Men. And that's the reason I started customizing, because I wanted to make my, a figure of myself. Let me see, is that dry enough yet? That's still not dry enough yet, so I can't, I can't get on there. But I am going to add some of this future floor polish to it, Let's see if that helps cover it a little bit more. So this this future floor polish is self-leveling. So getting back to that character, see, that character, I'm, it, you, you're not gonna be able to look him up because my name is not Brock. You know that Brock is my interwebs name because there's just some crazy people out there. Mike probably knows. Uh, he, he has Transformer fans following him. <laughs> and there's no one crazier than Transformer fans. Transformer fans are the craziest people. So uh, Brock is my internet name, but my real name and me, I am in an X-Men book. And I've been working on that custom for quite a while. And it, it was one of the first things I started doing, but I didn't have the ability, but I do have the ability now. I'm at a level uh, in the customizing game that I could finish that figure, but there's just so many other projects that I've started that's taken a back burner. I see the comments going and you guys are probably asking a bunch of stuff, but all right, let's see how that goes. Let, let me just let it go there. That beast is, does look amazing. I don't know, A.S. Ray, I don't know if that new beast is better. I don't, I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it on hand, I should say. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reserve my opinion until I get it, but I doubt I doubt it that that beast is going to even have the same articulation. It's going to have better waist articulation for sure. We'll see how he, they do with the legs. But the paint is not going to be better. So it's going to have to beat it in other things. So the sculpt does look nice, but I really want to wait. So Mike is asking, uh, what comics am I reading uh, in the DC side, I'm reading Batman, Tom King. If you guys are not, if you guys are fans of comic books, I know some of you won't be reading comic books, but you're, if you're a fan of comic books and you're a fan of Batman, you need to be reading Tom King's run on the Batman series. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal writer. Phenomenal. I can't, I can't say it enough. Uh, I've also been reading Red Hood and the Outlaws. And uh, it wasn't Tony, it was um, uh, Dexter Soy. He was the, uh, the artist on that, amazing. Uh, which is why I started doing a, a Bizarro custom because that, that really, is, that, that book was so, it was such a fun read, the art. Dexter Soy is amazing. So that's DC. Uh, DC's, uh, oh, Tom King is also doing, um, Concho, what's the name of that? Uh, Heroes in Crisis, I think that's what it's called. The, the first two issues that I read are really, really good. I'm trying to think what other DC books I'm reading. But th those are the first ones that pop into my mind. Um, I hope I'm getting them all. And then Marvel. Uh, Marvel, I'm reading... I, I don't really care for any of the X-Men books. Um, wow, I can't believe that... Hold on a second. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, Daredevil. I'm reading Daredevil. I'm reading Darth Vader. That's been a really good uh, Charles Soule. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. It's kind of like a case and cast thing. You know what I mean? I've been reading The Amazing Spider-Man. That's kind of been an ongoing thing. But you know what? I just remembered that I had made myself a list. 
because I always forget what books I'm actually reading. And uh, I'm, I'm a big, huge nerd, guys. Look, look at this. I, I made myself a list. So, Old Man, oh, you know which one? Uh, old Man Hawkeye. I've been reading that. That's phenomenal. Uh, I read that Punisher. Oh, uh, Venom. That's been pretty good. I've been reading Old Man Logan. It's been okay. The Avengers, Thor has been okay. Sentry has been okay. Uh, Fantastic Four was just okay. Uh, I read Shatterstar, and I'm over. I'm done with the Shatterstar. Uh, Death to the Inhumans. Recommend that. Recommend that. And let me see if I got all the oh, Doomsday Clock. So I'm reading quite a bit of uh, comics, and I pick off uh, and I pick up issues here and there that uh, that seem interesting. And if I don't like the art or the the storytelling, I'm done. Like I I'm not reading. Um, Green Lantern, The Flash anymore, Deathstroke, all these books that I used to read that, that I enjoyed because I just, I'm not, I don't like what they're doing right now. All right, moving on as this stuff is still drying. Uh, you guess, hopefully. Uh, could I, uh, Parker says, could I at some point send you a pic of PS4? Yeah, absolutely. Send it to me on Instagram. I'm good with that. And if I can help and make suggestions, I'm, I'm good with helping you as long as... Uh... Hey, what's up, RG? Too late for you, Mike, right? It's too late to go back. <laughs> oh, man. I would like to hear some of your uh, stalker stories. You know, the reason I did it, guys, it's not because I'm trying to be cryptic and um, not that I'm afraid of you guys or somebody... Uh, my families are in my videos. Uh, initially, I got into here. I'll, let me let me get face to face doing this one. Turn around. Ooh, ooh. All right. So you know, initially when I started doing YouTube, it was family related. So I had my daughters, my wife with me on all my toy hunts. That was with my family. So there is no way, because I will go to jail, players. I will go to jail. So I just said, ah, I just gonna do what I need to do to, for a little bit of anonymity, even though I'm putting myself out here. And uh, that's it. That's the only reason I'm doing it, uh, because there are some weirdos, weirdos, weird people on the internet. Anyways, back to this. Uh, Darth Vader is very good. Darth Vader, I'm telling you, it's it's been good. It's It's giving more depth to that character i i think the the story's been good I, I i personally love it but uh i wouldn't call myself a big humongous star wars nerd i am i i, I would say i'm more of the new breed star wars nerd even though i like the old old stuff too someone like mike and uh i, I don't know there, there's just a, like robo there, just, there's just some of these guys that are youtubers that are way way into star wars uh that's not me so uh, some of the, somebody that's a, a, a Star Wars purist may not necessarily find that comic book enjoyable. Immortal Hulk, I, like I like the first couple issues. I, I'm starting not to, not to get it. I know it's supposed to be darker and he's having, like, he's having some sort of like, I don't know what's happening in the Hulk's head. And uh, so I'm not really enjoying that one as much. I'm still going to stick with it to see if there's some sort of payoff that I'm missing. Okay, look, Mike likes Darth Vader. Yeah, Dr. Afra, I haven't read that one. I know that's a very popular one, but I didn't pick that one up. Because I was, obviously, you guys can see I'm reading way too many comics. Yeah, Spider-Man kind of comes and goes. One of my favorite Spider-Man runs have been, has been the Superior Spider-Man. If you haven't read that, that is a good one to pick up. Pick up the trade and uh, get through that story. That's a fun. If you like Doc Ock, that's a, that's a Spider-Man you need to get. Jacob says, that spot that I did was great. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really enjoyed it, man. That, that seriously has been one of my favorite customs to make. 
And it was a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> harder as far as work. Even though I finished it kind of quick. Okay, you kind of see the, the glassiness. I think I may... I may stop there. It's not giving it me the exact effect that I was hoping for, but I think I may just, mm, I don't know if I should give it another, another round. Let me give it a just, let's give it one more round. Yeah, I did. I did read that. Uh, spoilers if you're into Spider-Man. But if you're into Spider-Man, you, you're reading the comics already, so you should be caught up. But yeah, he went broke. So I'm up to date with all the amazing Spider-Man stories. And guys, typically you, like I mentioned before, you typically don't want to lay the paint on this thick. But since I'm wanting to cover this whole arc reactor, actually that may have just done it almost right there in the corner. I keep on saying just one more. A glob? I think I know who that is. You didn't mean to say blob, right? Actually, I do have, I have to put that uh, build a figure together. You know, I don't know if you guys uh, are, were into the Facebook groups, the ones that, that are Marvel Legends related mainly, but uh, there was a guy named Chris, Chris Gilham. He, he recently passed away. He actually, like a week and a half before, he had sent me the blob head. Um, yeah, man, it was kind of crazy. Uh, but anyway, he sent me the blob head. I got to put that one together, but I'm going to make a video of me putting that together. There's some nice people in the community. I, I have a superior Spider-Man custom. Do you guys want to see that? If you want to see it, I'll go and get it and show you. It was actually a fairly, you can make this custom, anybody, not even, you don't need any customizing experience. If you guys say yes, I'll go get it right now as this thing is drying. Whiplash. Guys, I have like 66 customs that I have right here in this, in this wall behind this, this, this thing, there's a huge bin. Size, I'll show you. Look at this right here. That bin right there is full of figures that I've planned that I'm at some sort of stage in the customizing pro uh, process. It's filled. And then in my room, I have a full drawer of, of customs that I've, that are either ready for paint or they just need a little bit more sculpting or prep work for paint, and then I'm ready to go. You guys, I'm sure they're awesome, but encourage me to finish the ones that I've started. I've been working on a juggernaut, and I know that you guys know what I'm talking about because you've seen them back here at some point. If you've been following me for the last year or so, I've had that juggernaut, and I need to just paint him. I need to paint him, and maybe that's what I'm gonna do next weekend. A.S. Reyes said no. Uh, A.S. AS knows uh, uh, new Chris too, at least, you know, in the, just like we know each other th via, via Facebook. Uh, but yeah, man, real sad about that. Real sad. And not just because he sent me that, that head, but, you know, I had interacted with him a few times in the Facebook groups. And those Facebook groups are just so, you know, like, it's hard to be personal. We all share this common, you know, 
enjoyment of figures and uh you know some some of us will trade with each other purchase and that's essentially all we have is just the the banter back and forth that happens but man yeah that was a bummer let me go get it and i'll show you guys talk to you this was early in my custom this is right after i read superior spider-man so it's been a while that superior spider-man came out and these legs right here are from shapeways they're they're kind of pricey they're like 20 something 20 something dollars this is a little dusty boy i haven't touched this guy in a while so this is just the Superior Spider-Man that uh, Hasbro put out, which is a cool figure. It's done in, what buck is that? Is that the, I, I can't remember. Is this the, the pizza, I don't think this is the pizza, is this the pizza Spidey? I can't tell right now because, and I don't want to move him from this pose because I'm going to put him right back where he was at. But it's the Superior Spider-Man uh, buck. This came with it these little goblets so I, I you just all you do is you take them from the sprue you come from the sprue and you glue them on the only thing that i did to it was i try to make his eyes look like they uh, they appeared in the comic and i painted the legs and the paint jobs you know whatever the paint jobs whatever this is a super simple custom uh it it stands out on the shelf, it, it just looks cool with these spider legs. And you have to build them together. Uh, this plastic's real weird feeling. It's not like Marvel Legends plastic. It's a lot more brittle, so you gotta be careful with it. But these legs are very poseable. Just set them like that. What do you guys think? It's not, so it's not the pizza spidey. It, it looks different to me. It looks more muscular. Maybe it's the um, a little bit older, but it doesn't have the ball-jointed hips. I forget uh, which body it is. Well, I'm going to have to look up Whip. It wasn't Whiplash in the, uh, in the MCU. And the old, uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Yeah, man, that guy was very, Chris was definitely into uh, collecting those. <laughs> so, that's, dude, I tell you what, I'm going to make, uh, I'm planning a cyber Cyber? Is it Cyber? The Wolverine villain. I'm going to make two of those, and I'm going to be selling one of them. Because Brockonomics, I have all the parts. That's why, and I think it'll be uh, uh, easy for me to kit bash. I haven't done the kit bashing yet, but I'm planning on selling one of those. I think it's Cyber. The guy that has the, uh, the claws, bigger guy, blue and like chromed out arms. All right, let me set that to the side. Let me see how this is looking. Yeah, it's almost it's almost where I want it. You see how it's getting glassy? You see that when I run the light through it, it's getting glassy? I almost want to do just a little bit more right there on the side because it, because it didn't get full coverage. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ay, coño. I need more paint on that. The, 
these acrylic paints dry real quick and sometimes they dry on the tip of the brush and that had some some dry tip on it that's what she said Just screwed this up. I may also make another cape. Ugh. I'm going to have to let that dry and try it one more time. Whiplash is the Iron Man. That's right. I remember watching it in the movie. Freighter, w welcome to the stream. I don't think uh, I've seen you comment before. Yeah, it, you know what will make you add this to the list of your custom? Read that Superior Spider-Man run. I think it's Scott Lobdell that wrote it. Marcus says he was a uh, cyber was an X-Factor villain. TGW says he was a hornet for a while. AS, I'm thinking about, he, AS says I should make custom mescos. You guys know who you need to follow for custom mescos is Ace. Ace, I think he just changed his name to Ace Outlaw Outlaw Customs. You can check him out on Instagram. His name's Aiden. Uh, but yeah, go. That guy's making a uh, phenomenal phenomenal looking vulture, and he's using some of the Marvel Legends parts, but he's. Uh, yeah, he's making it look like a Mesco phenomenal. But anyways, AS, I'm thinking about, you know that um, that Punisher we both got, that KO Punisher? I need to fix the boots. I can't stand how how those boots work. So I'm thinking about making them, uh, customizing it with the uh, Marvel Legend uh, joints. But I want to use those boots. See you, Parker. Good night. Silver Samurai. No, because I haven't considered that one, Jacob, because I can't, I think, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of remember reading um, him in the comics, but he's not a character that I fancy, if you know what I mean. Peachy says Glob is a Hulk villain. Yeah, Special K, I, I get that, uh, but... But you know, there's KOs out there. They're the, essentially the same bodies. Then you can use those bodies a lot cheaper. I would never want to touch a an eighty dollar figure either. I get that for sure. You want to make a Hugh Jackson Wolverine? Uh, I would say something bigger. Something bigger than the bullseye body, something taller, because you know Hugh Jackman's like six three, but he's thinner. He's a thinner Wolverine. But you don't want him, obviously, too bulky, like the Hyperion body. You need something in between, something taller but thinner. You may want to actually look at some of the WWE figures, and just see what body matches, because you can always fit the head. Oh, the, the neck to the head, uh, you know what I mean? A living laser. That's coming out, Marcus. I think the living laser is coming out. PG says, if you make a glob, a good base would be the, ma the man thing figure. The thing figure? Isn't the glob an X-Men? Or who is that that thinks like a transparent pink glob. Maybe I'm thinking of blob. No, you know what? I'm, I think Scott Lobdell, is he? 
I'm forgetting. I, I, I think, I feel like that's him, but I, I'm not sure. So that, that was in, in uh, response to Special K asking it if he's the one that did, did rebirth Batman. Well, you guys are talking about all these. Yeah, the the McFarland figures. I recently saw a Doo Dog review the uh, the pink the the pink thing. <laughs> it's got pretty good articulation, good sculpting, good paint. I'm not picking up those figures. I I know Fortnite's humongous. I may pick it up on if I can use it for parts for something. He's a swamp like mo monster. Uh, Peachy says about Glob. Hey Freighter, if you have any tricks that you wanna you wanna share with a group of something that you think would be beneficial, throw it down, man. By all means, let's share. All right, let's see. I think I really wanna. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop touching that for right now. I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm gonna move on to painting the skin here. I'm gonna move uh, Superior Spider Man out of the way here. So I just have a bunch of flesh color uh, paints here. And this matte varnish I'm gonna use to seal the face after I'm done. And some black for Tony's hair. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I have a bunch of this paint. I forget what, it, what it's called, but I have two tubes of it and I wanna start using it. So I think because he's got a darker shade, I'm gonna start with this medium flesh tone and see what it, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paint straight over that paint. Typically you want a primer, but I don't feel like I need to because the, the majority of the time this guy is just going to be displayed with a mask, right? Because the mask is super cool. Why would you want to have this figure without the mask? You know what I mean? But I want to know that I painted, <laughs> that I have that in there. All right, let's go with something, a small brush here. It's gonna be a little bit too hard. I would like to see McFarlane do some of the the other figure, like a, his spawn stuff. Can you imagine if he had the articulation? However, uh, I know. Uh, matter of fact, I th I saw the Foosh channel. He announced the. Um, What's it? The Game of Thrones figures are coming out, but they don't look articulated, unfortunately. This is going to be a little bit too brown, I think. That's going to be too brown. So... I think I have another one here that will work better. What's up, Spider Sands? Sorry if I'm moving all this all over the place. All right. Whatever, he's going to have brown skin to start with. By the way, have I mentioned that it's Difficult to paint in front of the camera. I should have popped this head off. <laughs> but with some of these Toy Biz figures, the reason I didn't is because they have somewhat brittle neck pegs. This is really difficult. This is gonna be Robert Downey Jr., uh, his black face or brown face. I forget what was this character's name. 
Oh boy. I don't want to lose that. He's looking like that character. Don't worry, I'll lighten up his skin here in a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is too funny. I'm trying to find a com comfortable position while painting. Since you guys are watching this. But uh, I would typically have uh, like a little magnifying glass here. Tropic Thunder is the, the movie I'm referring to, by the way. Again, if you're a juvenile, parental permission required to watch that movie. <laughs> oh my gosh, that movie. Right. Yeah, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> if you guys want to have a good laugh, YouTube some Tropic Thunder. Um, <laughs> you know what? I may just, I may just go brown here, guys. Happy birthday, Spider Sands. I'm just blowing on his face. I give him one more coat. All right. Peace out, Jacob. Thanks for hanging out. I was in the frame for that. That's okay. Let 
so the way I'm gonna paint the, the face, I'm gonna go, obviously I'm gonna go darker shade first, and then I'm gonna build the lights out of them. And uh, definitely this is not the way you, you need to do it, but like I said, this is essentially just gonna be, the mask is gonna be on it. The way you would wanna do it is you would wanna prime the figure, the prime the, the head first. And I think I just need to do maybe a, a couple more layers here and on the side of the nose. And then, you know, put down your base color. And I like to start from, from dark and work my way to the lighter shades. And then within that, you can do washes and things like that that will, that will whatever tone you have on this color, I shouldn't say tone, but the shade that you have on it will make it uh, deeper. Give it like a, like a darker. Actually, let me see. Oh, I definitely could use some. Definitely use some magnification right here. By the way, um, I'm not sure if you guys have any Five Below stores by your house, but my, my wife was able to find me a Marvel Legend Rocket Raccoon. And I had used my Rocket Rack, my, my only Rocket Raccoon, for a Yoda custom that I did a while, I think it was, was it earlier this year or late last year? I can't remember when I did it. Whenever I did the Yoda cu uh, custom, and I didn't have a Rocket Raccoon. This is definitely the uh, the brown Tony Stark. <laughs> now the arc reactor paint should be dry. So what I'm gonna do is I have some pledge floor shine on here. I'm gonna take a brush. Let's, let's use this brush right here. It doesn't have anything on it. And then I am just gonna lather the arc reactor with the future floor polish. Cover the whole thing. And this is gonna act as two things. It's gonna help shade it and then make it glossy. I'm not sure if I if I liked how this turned out, but what you gonna do? What do you guys think? Let me give it another, another floor shine, put some more floor shine on that. Kind of see it's glassy. And when it dries, it's gonna dry glassy over it. I'm running through the chat right now, and I'm almost done here, guys. I, you guys have stayed for, for quite a long time. I was not intending to, to go this long on here. Uh, so it wasn't this leg that broke. It was actually the arms that came broken. I put screws in here, and they're acting as the pegs. Spider sands. That was to answer your question. So Freighter is, is a customizer as well. He says, as far as any tips on like using sewing needles to do eyeliner, eyelash lines. Oh, really? I never thought about you doing that.
So he says he actually uses the, he, he'll scratch in the line. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Peachy. Uh, it's, uh, I, I just, I'm able to do some on the weekends. That's about pretty much all I, I can handle right now. Oh, something just fell back here. I was able to do more earlier in the year because off of, I, I was out with a, I had a surgery on my knee and I had more, I, you know, I wasn't working, so. Special K says, I bought a knockoff figure. It's Mark 50 Iron Man. I highly recommend it. It's better than what people are charging now. The knockoff figure arts. I was actually thinking, I'm thinking of buying the Revel Tech Venom and Carnage because I am planning on making customs of those guys too. That those that those are gonna be difficult customs for me because I don't know. Pounds978 is very gifted with the, the spider symbols. Um but I did just buy a while back, I bought the Sculptor Shelf uh, unmasked heads that look unbelievable. Hopefully I can paint them. I won't be painting those, I don't think, uh, in front of the camera because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to be up close and personal with those. TGW says rockets are on sale on Amazon right now. How much are they going for? Probably like 10 bucks or something. Comic book beige. No, this is gonna be my my only the only stuff that I have for now for this for this weekend. Ooh, the face is looking rough down there. I need that that face needs to dry more before I can I can even do maybe the chin. I can do a little bit of touch on the chin. The chin's almost covered up. Maybe I can maybe I can do that down here too. Hmm. See, this is what I wanted to avoid to do. Coño. When you get paint where you don't want paint and it's this stuff, you can just typically, you can use a different brush, wet it, and then it should be able to come off. But guess what? This paint player is not coming off because maybe that's been on there for longer than I expected it. Shoot. You see, I got a spot. Now that's probably not gonna be seen, but it's gonna bother me. It's all right, when I get the, the chrome paint, I'll be able to touch it up a little bit. You know what, can you do me a favor and, and turn on the fan? It may help the, the paint dry a little bit quicker. See how it's still wet on the face? Now I feel the fan going, I should have had it on, but Sometimes I, I don't want it to dry out the paint. I think I'm gonna leave that arc reactor done for a while. Okay, Freighter, that makes sense. So he he uses the end of the needle to paint 
the the line in, and he says that if if he misses, then he'll go off and scratch off the paint with a with a point. That makes sense. Honey, Special K says, I really respect that your wife supports you and you're customizing and collecting. I hope I can be that lucky. Thank you. She says, thank you. Yeah, Frieder, I haven't really done uh, that great of a job on the eyes. The best job I think I did on eyes was that uh, um, that Yoda figure that I did a while ago back. I think I'm going to be out too, guys. Vic, peace out. I don't think that this is going to be drying in time and all I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to go lighter and uh, once this paint dries, I'm going to start lighting, uh, lightening the face up. I'm going to make the paint pretty watery. I'll just tell you the process of what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the paint really watery and it's just going to almost like a wash on the face until it starts lightening up to the color I want. And then I will use the same paint, not as watered down, and then I'm gonna hit it on the cheekbones, on the nose, on the chin, on the brows, and I'm just gonna dab it with my finger. And that will help highlight the paint and, and those areas where he would typically, you know, when he takes off the mask and the sun would be hitting him, the areas were that, that stick out the most of the paint or that, you know, the, the flesh would typically be highlighted as opposed to, you know, the dark, the dark features where the shadows would hit. But anyways, thanks for joining me on this uh, longer than expected live session. And uh, I'll be seeing you around the interwebs. Peace.